One of our feature racers here at Market Raisin this afternoon, and it's been a labour of love getting this horse back to the race course. Steve Nelson, owner of the horse, is with me now. It's just cracking to see him back over hurdles and winning, Steve. You must be absolutely delighted. Absolutely, Nick. Uh, he's, he's been a great servant to us. Even, you know, in his first race of a bumper right through to here now, it's been great. We've had our ups and downs with him. He's been off the course probably as long as he's been on the course, but... Uh, We've been patient, John's been wonderful with him and uh, he's rewarded us today. What have his problems been? Uh, he's had a tendon problem. Um, he had a bone in his tendon which had a cyst in it which actually burst. It's a very, very rare injury. We had to actually go to America to get uh, some details of how to treat the horse. And uh, literally it was just rest. It was probably 30% chance he would race again. And uh, we just put him away, took a scan every now and again and it gradually got better and better. And then we, the plan was always to go back hurdling, but we put him on the flat at Lingfield. Was that just uh, to get him used to racing again? Yeah, really, just to get the cobwebs off him. But he's always run well fresh. He's virtually run every, every year when he's had his first race, he's won. And we really did fancy him at Lingfield, and uh, he just got up in the final stride. So after that, we decided to keep him on the flat, and he, wrote, he ran some honest races at Newbury, Ascot, it's probably just over the top at York. Uh, so we've put him away again for a couple of months and then brought him here today. So. And it was a tight little race today. I know he was entitled to win on his old form, but you can never be certain when you're bringing them back like this. No, you can't. It's, you know, he, he's so honest and Tony, Tony said it was his honesty that won in the race, really. He thought he was beaten um, before the second last and he, he said your horse kept found, finding, kept finding. So it was great. I suppose with a horse like this, you have to take things each day as they come. But what would be the immediate plan? Well, originally it was come here today to find out whether two mile one would be the right distance for him because John Best thought maybe now he's getting a bit older that, that uh, two one was probably a little bit on the short side. So the idea was to come here today, see how he went. If he won, he would go up a few pounds and definitely get into the, the, the summer hurdle race here. Um, but Tony reckons it probably is on the short side for him now, 2 1. So we may look to the Newton Abbott uh, race uh, in August and in the meantime, probably keep him going on the flat in the two mile uh, races there. Best of luck wherever he does go, Steve. Fantastic to see him back winning again. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you very much, Nick. Light on the card for me, Jonathan, was the performance of Tony McCoy on Mind How You Go. I, I spoke to him after the race and he said, what a tough little horse. Yeah, he really responded well to pressure. The horse has had any amount of problems and, and incredibly game. Yeah, the horse did really well and the jockey, you know, he's not all about um, strength, wallet, crash and whatever. There's tactical acumen in excess of virtually any other rider and it was shown there and he's... He's, he nicked a couple of lengths out of Richard Johnson on Dish Dasher, and that was enough. Yeah, that was a riding performance of the afternoon for me, certainly. Mind how you go. Might not come back here for the valuable Tote Scoop 6 summer hurdle. Tony McCoy just feels this trip's on the sharp side for him now, and as such, he could go down to Newton Abbott for a similarly valuable contest there. Mm, there's plenty of, plenty of money to be won down there about six weeks.